Hello, I'm the Toy Cam. Welcome back to the video. So as you're all probably aware, there was recently a major update for Minecraft on the console. And one of the things about having major updates for pretty much any game or any product really out there is that when you introduce so much brand new code for a game, you're also going to introduce a bunch of brand new bugs. And one of the cool things about bugs on Minecraft console is they're not necessarily all bad. Some of these can be used at least in interesting or entertaining ways. And in this video, I have a way to one, uh, confuse some people with uh, you know the way uh, you know blocks interact. But then two, I have a way that actually allows you to break gravity altogether in your Minecraft worlds. And it's a very interesting one to show off. So I hope that you do all enjoy this video. Like it if you do, because it helps out the channel. And let's know you do like seeing the very bizarrest of glitches that happen in Minecraft. But with that said, let's get straight into it, shall we? And let's start with the very first, uh, you know, like interesting glitch in this update. And it's, uh, I guess, uh, you know, not quite as major as breaking gravity, but it is one that you can definitely use if you want to confuse people because of the kind of like asymmetric nature of how the uh, blocks work. So basically, if you can confuse us, what I mean by that, basically, uh, the block hitbox for the glass is slightly too large. And this doesn't really mean too much by itself. It means you can stand on essentially nothing. Like, look, look where I'm standing right now. Basically nothing and that's kind of cool by itself but uh, there's you know a few more ways you can use this because the glass hitbox always expands to the right or I guess that would be like to the east uh, you know like uh, they always expand to the east and this means you can do a few things of it one of these is like use it as like a shield guard people think they can uh, you know see they think they can hit you uh, but they actually can't so for instance if you're standing over here so uh, let me just place one up there if you're standing just over here as you can see you've got a guard against any arrows coming in or out which is pretty cool because people don't assume that you know this magic uh, area here isn't that but the thing I think is way more interesting is you can use this uh, you know weird hitbox to make something that looks like it's possible but actually isn't so yeah this should be an easily possible gap but it's not because of that weird barrier but even if you look at it on this side it looks like it's the exact same thing you can see the fence has the same barrier on the right for some reason or the east uh, and as you can see i shouldn't be able to fit with this gap but because th this one is uh, you know properly transparent you can actually go from that side but you can't go over there it's a very very bizarre little uh, you know piece of functionality but it is something that exists in this update and that you can probably confuse at least a few people with so uh, yeah you can also do this with uh, iron uh, gates or whatever you know the iron <laughs> I mean, it's called the chain uh, gate. That you basically, you can use the iron bars and you can uh, place them up and down just like this. And you can protect yourself from arrows with those. You can make the fence thing. And yeah, you can just confuse people, which is pretty great in general, I think. But again, so in case confusing people isn't your main thing, or you want to really confuse people, maybe this second glitch is one you'll prefer because it is a way to break gravity altogether in your Minecraft world. So this was actually shown to me by IPXD Mods. Let me just quickly clar uh, clarify that. He just mentioned, oh yeah, you might want to try this. It makes gravity not work. And I was like, how does it make uh, gravity not work? And it's kind of like uh, how the updates before, if you place too much sand all at once the world couldn't update all of it so it'd have to do it like block by block except it does that all the time so basically it means that if you do this uh, long enough you're basically going to break gravity for your entire world which I know is confusing but let me explain what I mean by that so basically uh, if we place down a fence which we'll do just over here and then we place a bunch of sand on top of the fence again we have to kind of drop it on there so let's uh, you know place uh, a fence uh, yeah let's drop the, uh, the sand just from up here if we drop a bunch of sand onto this thing actually it probably has to be more than that so let's place a fence up there too uh, basically yeah if we drop uh, sand onto a fence because of the weird interaction that fences have. I guess they had to change them recently. Uh, as you can see, we're going to, oh, <laughs> on the side of the fence, which means we have to use the hitbox right there. If we drop that onto there, as you're going to see, if we do that again, it's just going to drop it into the exact same block, which is interesting enough when you've got two because you've got this weird block of sand that actually contains two blocks of sand, which is kind of cool. And in case you're curious as why this is, it's because it's like on a half block, which it's not meant to be. So the sand is continuously falling onto the same block and it's kind of bouncing every now and then. However, you can't just do this twice in a row. You can do this as many times in a row as you'd like. So let's drop a third block of sand, let's drop a fourth block of sand, a fifth block of sand, a sixth block of sand you probably get the point we're going for here and if you do this again it's around 10 to 16 times uh, i think it you know depends a little bit on your console but if you have too much falling sand all at once especially if it's all in the same block eventually what's going to happen is you're going to see the sand i place down up here is just not going to fall down into there which is a little bit bizarre right but the thing is once you've done that there's uh again we've got i think that's 20 blocks of sand in the same block uh, as soon as you've done that uh, you basically set it so that you know there's so much falling sand the game is trying to update that and it's not going to be able to update anything else so for instance let's take the sand back and let's uh, end a pearl up there. Also, you notice how, like, because it's falling sand, you can actually go right into the same block as it. So, camouflage, if you ask me. But yeah, as well as uh, being called for that reason, so let's uh, quickly end a pearl uh, up there. Uh, let me show you what this means for everything else, because this means any gravity affected block, once you've done that, because there's too much, uh, you know, falling, cannot be updated. So, for instance, if you wanted to, uh, you know, use sand, but use it as a bridging tool, then guess what? With, uh, you know, once that's been done, you can just bridge like that. Uh, but as well as uh, just being able to use sand, you can use, uh, you know, the, dre the, the dreaded gre uh, gee uh, <laughs> gee words, sorry, uh, my words are off point but yeah, as well as, um, you know, being able to use uh, the, gra the gravel stuff, you can also uh, take a bunch of anvils and you can use these too. So if you ever wanted to have floating anvils, well, in this uh, in this update, if you just, you know, break gravity a little bit, then you can make a bunch of floating anvils. And it, yeah, I, I just really love the, uh, you know, this thing because you don't usually get to make a pathway out of floating anvils. But uh, with this little update and this little weird glitch, you actually can. So let's place a bunch of these anvils just around the place because the other cool bit about this is because it is just, you know, falling sand continuously, you know, like it's, it's kept in place by the fence. This means you can actually turn gravity on and 
off, which means you can essentially have like an on-off switch for gravity. And let me show you why that's so cool by just placing a bunch going out this way. Also, this, that is a very loud noise, I realize. But yeah, uh, let's just uh, place a bunch of these going out this way so you can kind of get the point. So let's uh, go right up to here, let's call it, and then let's uh, end up all back over there. So now let's say we want to break the fence. This is like our on switch for gravity because we can immediately turn gravity back on for the entire world. So anywhere in the entire world where uh, you know stuff happens to be falling, as soon as this breaks and causes the weird thing to happen, what's going to happen is immediately everywhere else in the world, you know, a few seconds after, it all happens all at once. And <laughs> as you can see, you get to like uh, create like anvil rain. And I think there's some amazing map idea where like you know like or some mini game idea where like oh it's falling anvils, you know, hello you know whatever. I I just think that's a good idea. And uh, yeah, just in case you don't, uh, I figured that's a cool thing you might want to check out for some reason because I had so much fun playing around uh, the gravity thing, and hopefully all of you do too. So yeah, there's two glitches in T46, which I think I like. You know, they're not necessarily great, and they will be patched out, and that will be a good thing. But in the meantime, at least have some fun with them, at least confuse a few people, because I know I'm going to do that at least a few times. So I hope you did all enjoy this video. Let's throw an ender pearl through this gap, right? Wait, no, never mind. But yeah, I hope you did all enjoy this video. Like if you did like it, because it helps out the channel. Let us know you do like the video, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. So a lot of people have been asking why uh, Black One-Legged Steve only has one leg, and the answer to that question is because I think it makes a bit of house shape. Uh, as you can see, you got this nice little, you know, like, it's like a hallway, but it's an upwards hallway. So, yeah, just in case you've been looking at that, not only does it make a better house, but it also requires less resources, and uh, I don't know, I, li I like the bone thing that's coming out there. Anyway, with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.